In this video series, you will learn how to configure a web chat channel. The web chat channel facilitates live one-on-one -on -one messaging between agents and customers. To view or create web chats, click on the web chat manager on the left-hand menu bar. Channels is located at the top right of the web chat manager. The grid displays the name of existing web chat channels, the status, whether that channel is active or not, under actions, you have the option to copy the source code that you will add to the web page you want this chat to function on, edit the channel, or delete the channel from the platform. You can also use the filter to search for a previously configured channel, adjust the number of channels viewable on each page, and add a new channel. To create a new channel, click Add Channel. Once you do that, you can choose from the dropdown to create a web chat channel, a Facebook channel, or a WhatsApp channel. In this video, we are going to review how to create a web chat channel. Once selected, the new web chat channel box will open on the right side of the platform. This is where you will configure your new web chat. You will need to configure the following five sections to create your web chat channel. General, calendars, settings, triggers, and cues. To configure the settings in the general tab, you will need to first give your channel a name. You can add the client DNS or web page where this chat will function. Leave out the HTTPS and start your entry with www. Next, you can insert the DNS subfolders within that web page where you want this chat to display. You can select the language your chat will display to your customers or clients. Under templates, you will choose a previously created template, and you can choose as many as you need for this web chat channel. Under subjects, you will select a previously created subject tree. And if you want to give your agents access to an external script, add the URL here and click enable. Once you have configured general settings, you will now need to move on to the second tab and configure your calendar settings.